Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm out exploring a new site. I'm actually about 200 yards away from what was a fort during the Civil War. And I just got my first good target. That looks like a gardener. Only about five or six inches down. Hopefully there's some more in here. I also got this. I'm not really sure what that is yet. Looks like it's old, but if you know what that is, let me know down in the comments. Anyway, I'm going to keep going, and if I get anything else, I'll show you. Hey guys, welcome back. We're out doing a little hunting at one of the local parks today. We've got all the guys here. There is Marlon. There's Jeff over there, and there's David over there. Anyway, we're going to get after it and see if we can turn something up. I think I got silver. You think so? Yeah, I had a had a 1047 signal. About uh probably about eight inches down. Look at that. Come on, be something old. That's a damn mercury, but I'll take it. I, I, I like mercury. Yeah. I think, mer mercury. I think it's one of the prettier designs. It is. All right, well, that's a good start. Oh, it was on edge too, wasn't it? It was, it was pretty deep. I got it at about, I just scooped it out about right there. Let's see how deep that was. Heck yeah. A good eight inches deep. Did it ring up good or? That was kind of hit or miss. I turned the camera on just in case. Yeah. Because I thought, well, it could be faucet or it could be a deep silver, but yeah. yeah. Marlon just called me over. He says he's got silver. All right. A lot of mercs around here. It's pretty deep, huh? Yeah, the one I got earlier was too. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Congratulations. Good deal. Good deal. 1145, six inches. Alright, so I got it out. That was an old horseshoe or ox shoe. I'm not really sure. It was down there about a foot. Anyway. Marlon says he's got a Civil War shell casing. Yep, sure is. Like Spencer, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Dang sure is. Rimfire. Heck yeah, man. That's a dang good sign. If I hadn't have been digging them lower signals, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have done Would that ring up on yours? It rung up a little below a penny. Yep. It rung up on here about a 17, 18. Does it look? It's, it's got look? tape on it. Oh, it? It's got somebody put electrical tape on it. Oh, we'll find a little bit of everything out here. Let's see that. Is it brass or is it lead? That feels like it's aluminum. That's aluminum, though. Okay. So, that's that's still a neat find. Man, that's You just never know what you're going to pull up out here, do you? Yes, sir, buddy. Man. Heck yeah, that's neat, Dave. So my buddy Mike came out to hunt with us, and he just scored his first ever Indian head penny. It's uh, $18.99, right? Yep. And he's doing pretty good. He got a uh, Silver War nickel in, what, two weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks, so he's wearing it out. All right, guys, this fellow is one of my co-workers and one of my good friends. He has only been detecting for a few months now, and the heel just gave him his first old coin, which is a buffalo nickel. 
So you weren't able to get a date off of it? No, I couldn't get a date off of it right now. Heck yeah, I bet that's pretty exciting, man. Oh, shoot, yeah. Very that's first awesome. one. Congratulations. Thank you. 13.45. Silver dime range. Sounds a little bigger than a silver dime. Maybe just because it's shallow. It's pinpointing about the size of a coin. Come on, be silver. Right in the middle of a bunch of briars. Nope, it's a uh, D ring buckle. Oh, nice. It's an old one. Thought it sounded a little bit bigger than a coin. All right, so last weekend, Mike came up here and found his first ever Indian head penny. We're back again this weekend, and he just knocked two more off the bucket list. Tell him what you got, Mike. I got a Standing Liberty quarter. I don't know what year it's all wore out, but it's still silver. Oh yeah. Within about 30 minutes of being here. Which and one did you get first? I found this one first. Got the dime first. Yep. Yeah. And that's a 1912. 1912 Barber Dime and a Standing Liberty Quarter. First Indian head last weekend. You're yeah. killing it, man. Yeah, he's the first one I've ever found. <laughs> the oldest oh, yeah. one I've found a penny is, I mean, a dime is a 1944 or 41. Oh, hell yeah. Congratulations, man. That's it, Perry. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.